Hello Pointer Grammars and Thinkific Professionals. I'm John from Pointer Gram. Today I'm going to show you how to engage and motivate your Thinkific students with gamification. First thing we need to do is connect Pointer Gram and Thinkific. Let's head to Profile, Settings and then press on Integrations. Select Thinkific by pressing on the plus sign. To integrate Pointergram and Thinkific, you need to fetch the API key from Thinkific settings and your domain for Thinkific. Press add key and fill in the blanks and press save. A pop-up appears. Now Pointergram asks you what steps you wish to integrate from Thinkific, meaning what data you wish to fetch. I want to fetch everything. I'll keep everything in enabled and pressing OK. So the integration is up and running. Players will be created on signups and points will be registered as soon as they do some activity in Thinkific. So let's see what type of activities we were actually fetching. We also created three score series, course progress, user sign in and lessons completed. On the course progress and lessons completed you have list values of activities from Thinkific. These can be disabled and enabled based on what you wish to track. Pressing on the gear wheel on the score series takes you to the settings menu of that score series. From the score series settings you can set different point values for each activity if you wish. Also you can remove activities that you don't wish to track. So let's see what happens when a Thinkific student creates a new account. The user will automatically be created in Pointagram. Note the players are created as offline players, meaning they have no access to Pointagram yet. If you don't wish to manually invite the players, you can go into the integration step user sign up and then enable invite new players to Pointagram. So let's create our first leaderboard by going to the compete page, then pressing on the big plus sign, selecting leaderboard, selecting your theme, naming your competition, adding a time frame, and then pressing next. Select your desired score series where you wish to fetch your points. In this page you have course progress, user sign-ins and lessons completed. In my example I will go ahead with lessons completed. You also have the possibility to just filter out quizzes and only quizzes will generate points in this competition. I'll just keep it simple and press next. From this page you'll add all the players, press add players. Select the players, then press complete ending players and then press done. Now you get your first leaderboard up and running. The leaderboard will be updated as soon as the students are active. So the next two steps is all about badges. How to earn a badge every week based on a target that you set. And also how to level up a player by completing a course as an example. Creating a reach and amount badge gives me the possibility to make a target repetitive each week. My goal is to give away a badge each time a player reaches 10 points each week. Just select your score series, press OK, name your badge, select the target, select time period weekly and then save and complete. Now I want to show you how to create a level badge based on course progression. So each time I complete a course I'll get one point and that equates to a new level in our level badge. As you can see here, every time a score has been made, it shows in the news feed, but also all the won badges. And if I go into a profile, I'll see all the players' won badges and trophies and some metrics. Thank you for watching. That's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just email us at support at